say. And you don't have to necessarily agree with it, and you don't have to necessarily believe in it, but this is going to happen. The greatest thing me and my friends have ever done, collectively, individually, over the span of our small existence. And if you think for one moment we're going to waste that opportunity, then my brother, my sister, you have never truly felt the ecstasy of the compassion of women. Woo! I'm not about to apologize for it, but I'm not going to wake up every morning a subject to your never-ending rat race, forever chasing after illusions, delusional ideals of happiness and pleasure, running and running until we're tired and dying to death. You owe it to yourself and to anyone who's ever loved you to be exactly what you want to be. Be exactly what you want to be! You go to your step to your deathbed, whether it's lying in vain or melting between the steel agents of your favorite automobile, or lying comfortably in. At least it's close to what I imagine what you'd be in such an instance. Your family and friends coaching you through your final few moments. I want to be able to look back at every waking moment of my being and be able to say, I did exactly what I wanted to do. Do exactly what you want to do! That final moment of nervous, gut wrenching anxiety, I can swear to you, nothing else is going to matter. Was the time well spent? Well, I know I'm not going to fade out into a sad, sad soul. Another slave to this, this system, this natural order that we're raised to believe is right. And I'm not about to apologize for that. This rap's not going to limit itself to your maid inside of these poorly crafted walls we built so tall. When will we reach the end? Who knows? And what's going to be with you folks when we get there? Well, I can't just tell you that either. And don't you ever think you've got it all figured out. Don't. Question yourself. Question everything around you. This world we live in is dead, if not dying. How can you stomach that? How can you sit by if everything you've ever loved is slowly killed right in front of you? It's disgusting! It's disgusting how we make ourselves comfortable inside of these walls. Comfortable with who we are. Comfortable with where we're at. Comfortable to die. Too afraid to think outside of these walls. Thinking what may lie beyond. Somewhere along the way, we've lost ourselves. Somewhere along the way, we've lost our passion. We've lost all of this now.